Independent candidates have heavily featured in Ghana's politics since the start of the Fourth Republic in 1992. The first parliament saw two of such candidates making it to the House. By 1996, three NDC members of parliament had decided to go independent after losing their slots at the party level. Imanol Kwameboache of Ofensu North, Imanol Nati of Apamanya, and M.M. Garnakikwe from Dadikotopong. In that year, 54 in all ran as independent candidates for parliament. By the end of the polls, all 54 lost the elections, including incumbent independent MPs from the 1992 elections, Hawa Yakubu from Boku Central and John Achiolivo from Navungu Central. In 2000, 63 independent candidates came up. This time, however, four made it. The four independent winners were all disgruntled NDC members after losing their primaries. Boniface Abubakar Sadiq from Salaga, Johnson Akudibila from Gautimpani, Rashid Bawa from Akan in the Volta region and James Victor Beho from Anglo also in the Volta region. The number of independent candidates shot up to 126 in the 2004 elections, but only one would make it to the House. The independent win in Bankrugu Yoyo in the northern region was interesting. The candidate Josefiani Labok had won the seat twice before in 1992 and 1996 on the NDC ticket. After losing his nomination in 2000, he first contested as independent candidate and lost that year to the new NDC candidate. In 2004, however, he defeated him and won the seat. By the 2008 election, 96 independent candidates had emerged for parliament, 30 persons less than those who contested four years before. Four became successful at the end of the polls. All of them were disgruntled MPP members who had lost their primaries. This marked the entry of now first Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Joseph Jose Owusu. This caused the NPP four seats in the House, contributing to their loss of majority on the floor. In 2004, 45 more constituencies were created, pushing the seats up for grabs from 230 to 275. 120 independent candidates emerged, but only three won. All three were formerly with the NDC until they lost their nominations to run at the party level. In 2016, a number of independent candidates resurfaced, many of whom were members of the NDC or NPP who had lost their primaries. Three of them were incumbent MPs, namely Al Hassan Dahamani from Tamale North, Paul Deruguba from Jirapa, and Joseph Ofoi from Akan. In the end, none of them won, leaving the seventh parliament of the Fourth Republic with no independent candidate. But in all these, never has a political party written to the Speaker of the House to expel a certain MP for deciding to run independently. Law Professor Kweku Asare says the recent happenings surrounding the Fomina seat is unheard of. Uh, Wayo Sini used to be an NDC MP. Then they had a Congress in Kofodia and some of the delegates attacked him and Ubeda Samoa. When he returned, he announced in parliament that he's no longer caucusing with the NDC, he's cross carpet and he's joined NPP. And he further advised the speaker to activate Article uh, 99, uh, Article 97 1G to vacate his seat. That was a good example of how it should be used. On the other hand, if you look at uh, Tenyanu, he was the MP for lower. Uh, Kobo, I think. He basically did not quit the NDC in parliament, but he chose to run in the next parliament as an independent. He was allowed to finish his term as an NDC MP, run as an independent MP, and I don't think he even won. The same thing with Dr. William Akuto. Dr. William Akuto was the MPP MP for Abirim, I think in 2000 to 2004. Then he was defeated in the MPP primary, but he chose to run as an independent in the next parliament. He did not have to vacate his, uh, his seat, 